creating complex large language model applications is quite frustrating as you need to configure the apps with LMs, and this is by creating a retrieval augmented generation framework, also known as RAG. You also have to input external storage, embeddings, APIs, and connect the vectored storage databases. This whole process is quite time consuming and requires you to code a lot. This is where I introduce to you Auto LLM. You are able to create your own retrieval augmented generation framework with APIs in just a few seconds. In simple terms, you can create complex LLM based applications with a lot of flexibility quite efficiently and effectively. This is a project that has a one line integration with 100 plus LMs, 20 plus vector storage databases, and you're able to have it connect with fast API application creation. So what I have done with Auto LLM is that I have created a Gradio RAG framework for this repo called Ultralytics. It's basically a new repo that is focused on the frontier of vision. It basically helps with auto detection and so much more. Now, what I have done is that I created this Gradio demo in which it will answer questions as well as give me different types of details that are needed to configure as well as install certain things with this demo. So in this case, I asked it, how do I use it? And it gives me an output where to use ultra uh, ultra analytics apps for object detection follow these steps and it gives me a step-by-step -step explanation as to what you can do if you go a little bit above i also asked it how to perform tiled inference with the different components include code snippets and it does this generation which includes the code snippets and you're able to load the whatever code snippets are that are generated with the yolo version 8 model and you can see that it, it is able to create this rag framework within a couple of seconds. You simply just input your API key. You're able to do this with other LMs as well. So it doesn't restrict you to just using OpenAI's model. You can use open source models. And there is a possibility where you can configure it so that you can use hugging face models. Now, throughout today's video, I'm going to be showcasing how you can actually use this new complex LM creation app in which you can create rag models quite easily i'm gonna also showcase some of the capabilities and just go a little bit more in depth so definitely stay tuned and with that thought let's get straight into the video hey what is up guys welcome back to another youtube video at the world of ai in today's video i'm going to be showcasing auto llm which is simplifying the process of creating complex large language model applications now this in particular involves rag which is retrieval augmented generation now this can be something that will make your life so much easier as it will simplify unify and amplify which is something that they stated you can see in terms of some of the features you're able to access hundreds of plus different lms whether it's open source or closed source you're de definitely able to have a unified api in most cases auto lm has all of these features accessible whereas lang chain llama index as well as light lm do not you have 20 plus different vector storage databases. You have cost calculation in which it gives you a demonstration and a description as to where your costs are going for the generation. Uh, you have a one line RAG LM engine as well as a one line fast API. Hey guys, I'm offering my own one on one consulting. So if you're interested in this, definitely take a look at this as I can help you with installation, brainstorm ideas and just help you develop an AI tool for your business. If you're interested in joining our private discord where you can get subscriptions to AI tools for free, consulting, networking opportunities, and so much more, definitely take a look at the Patreon link in the description below. If you guys haven't followed World of AI on Twitter, I highly recommend that you do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Now, there's two ways to basically install this. You can definitely do it by a local installation method where you'll need to have Python installed. You'll also need Visual Studio Code as your code editor and API keys. It's fairly easy. What you'll need to do is clone the repository. This is fairly easy. Open up command prompt. You can scroll all the way up onto the GitHub repo. Copy the link of the repo. Go back onto command prompt. Type in git clone. Paste the link and click enter. Once you have finished cloning that, you can go into the actual G auto LLM folder by typing in CD auto LLM. 
And once you have done that, you can go into the folder and start installing the pip packages. This will unpack whatever is needed to install auto LM. And then you can go on, uh, on and start starting it up by the simple uh, query. And you just copy this whole command in which you can load up the model. Now you're also able to convert it into a fast API app in one line. And if you want to use different models, you simply add the block of which model that you want. If you click on the 100 plus supported LMs, you'll be able to see that there is a range of different models that you can use from coding to basic question answering LMs, as well as the different contexts of LMs that will help you out in different ranges. You have GPT-4, as well as uh, GPT-3.5, you have Claude, and so many others. So if you're interested in this, I'll also leave this link in the description below so that you can access it. Now you're also able to like access different vector storage databases. So if you're interested in this, this will give you a good idea as to which one you can use and implement into the block within your code. Now the second method of using Auto LLM is through Google Colab. Now what you would like to do first, once you are on the Google Colab link, you wanna first click on file and save a copy into your own drive. Once you have done that, you want to click on runtime, change the runtime to the best hardware that is available to you. Once you have that, you can click save and then you can move forward. Now, what I want you guys to do first is start installing the packages. Once you have done that, you're going to need to input your API key. Now, guys, I'll delete this key so you don't have to worry about uh, commenting that you got to delete your key. Now, once you go down, you can then start off by inputting your API or your GitHub link, sorry. Now you're also able to input different files and you can do this within Colab or wherever you install it locally. You can have it so that it basically retrieves whatever context that the application will need through a link or through the required file in which you can upload and have it set to which file that you want it to read. So in this case, I have this Ultralytics GitHub repo, which will then read whatever docs file is there. So in this case, I have it so that it will read the docs only. This is the relative path that it will read through. And the required like file like extension is gonna be .md. So it'll read the docs file and anything within this. So this is a way for you to make sure that it doesn't use up more API usage to go through every single file, you will then just have it so that it reads through the most important files that you want it set. Now, if you want it so that you don't, uh, you want it to read everything, you can just remove the specifications as well as the path that you want the AI to read through. Now, if you go down a little bit, you're able to configure this and there's two basic methods. You have the advanced usage as, as, as well as the basic usage. This is a completely skip configuration if you want to use the default settings. So as in, you can skip the advanced usage. Uh, pro tip is that auto LLM defaults to Lanced uh, as a vector store since it's a lightweight scales from deployment and production and it's 100 times cheaper than alternatives. So if you're going to be using the basic usage, you simply just click on the basic usage installation package. And then if you're going to be using the advanced usage, you can configure the auto query engine. And this is by inputting the system prompt. In this case, the system prompt is you are a friendly AI assistant that will help users find the most relevant and accurate answers to your questions based off the documents that you have to access. When answering the questions, uh, mostly rely on the information in the docs. And if you go down a little bit, you're able to uh, have a prompt template as well. You can set the LM parameters have a vector store parameter base. You can set it to whatever you want. In this case, they have this preset set for wherever you're gonna be installing it locally. So if you're installing it locally, you can copy the code template over here. Uh, sorry, it was over here, I think. You can copy this template and you can set it to whatever vector storage that you wanna use. In this case, we're using Lance vector data storage. So once you have that set, you can set the parameter, you can set the chunk size, and it will also ask you for a query engine parameter. Now, this is how what will basically set your API usage. So this will also help you 
in generation as well. So if you want to set a different context length, you can have that set within the advanced usage feature. If you go down a little bit, you have the LLM parameter, what model you'll be using, the chunk size and whatever. So once you have that set, you can click installation and then move forward where you can start asking your documents, the questions, whatever you want it to do and such forward. So in this case, I asked it the single prompt. It gives me how much the tokens will cost the usage the token usage so in this case it's 547 for the single question and the prompt token usage is 2321 now once you have the prompt set you can have it generate with this next uh, block over here once you run that cell you're also able to run it with the gradio app which is implemented within google collab so if you want to run anything you can just simply click this and you'll be able to send inputs and generate the outputs over here so uh, this is something that I asked at the start of the video where I, I asked how can I use Ultralytics and it gives me a good example as to how you can download it. So another demo I want to try out is where I ask it how do I make it so that I can integrate efficient hyperparameter tuning with Raytune. This is basically another method of utilizing Ultralytics. In this case I go into the integrations and I wanted to integrate the Raytune, which is a hyperparameter tuning that is vital in achieving peak model performance. This is by discovering the optimal set of hyperparameters. So it makes it run way better. And this is something which gives me a demonstration as to how you can install this Raytune. And this is one of the great things about this, as I'm able to create this RAG framework within a couple of seconds with a single input of a prompt. And you can set it so that it's not just for retrieval uh, answer based responses, you can have it to generate certain other things. And you can basically configure it with all the different prompts that are set with their repo. This is something that I would definitely take a lot of time with as you can do so much with this. You can even have my migration from Llama Index, have it so that you can utilize different uh, models from like Hugging Face, for example. And these are some of the things that will be available to you because this is an open source platform which allows you to build on top. Now they have a roadmap in which they want to have it a one have it so that there's a one line radio app creation and deployment budget-based email notifications, automated LLM evaluation, and they want to also have it so that they can add more quick start apps on PDF chat, documentation chat, academic paper analysis, patient analysis, and more. Now, this is something that I would definitely use. So definitely check this out. And it's something that I'll leave all the links to in the description below. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got some sort of value as to how you can create LM rag based applications within a couple seconds. With that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Make sure you guys subscribe. Follow the world of AI on Twitter. Definitely check out the Patreon page if you want to check out our private Discord. And if you want to book a one on one, I'll also leave this link in the description below. With that thought, guys, I'll see you guys very soon. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity. Catch you later.